Should Tim Tebow make $27 million? Because he's big box office. Tell me, tell me, tell he's me, big tell me, ratings, tell me, man. Tell me, tell me, he tell was blowing tell me, the top tell me, out tell me, of the tell ratings tell me, tell me, last year. Hold on, wait a minute. Will I get fired if I walk up the set right now? No, you I said, I said, hold on, wait a minute. You know what? Because you have no comeback. I said you have no comeback. No, I'll let you off the hook Hold on, wait a minute. You got no comeback. Wait a minute. I said you have to be able to play and be box office. You can't be box office but can't play. Don't you dare. Are you trying to tell me in that statement? You're going to no. sit here. You're going to sit. I swear to God. I, you, I'm you standing wanna, up for this. Well, well, I'm standing no, up for this. Talk about are you going to tell me, Tim are you going to tell me that Tim Tebow Tim deserves Tebow's to be a bigger draw than, than Kobe Bryant is right Kobe now? Kobe Bryant? He's a bigger draw than Kobe Bryant. He's a Bryant. bigger Yeah. Go to break. I, I, I got him. I, I almost want to again. walk off this set right now. I can't believe this man just said this out of his mouth. You're telling me is that Marcellus Tim Tebow... Wiley Tim in the Tebow, house. We need where, to get Marcellus where is out of here. He? he needs a blow. Tim he, Tebow? He, he's Tim out. Tim Tebow is more box office partner. than Kobe Bryant? Yes. Than Kobe Bryant? Yes. Is Tim Tebow more box office than LeBron? I think so. It's the National Football League. Go look at the numbers. Go look <laughs> at the numbers he did in his games last year. It's, it's through the roof. Go on, go on a set. It's go through on the set. roof. Marcellus, get out here. Get out here I need some help. I, I don't get even talk to him. I here. can't deal with it right now. Yeah. What if this game comes down to the last two minutes? Which quarterback you got? You taking Tebow or you taking Brady? Seriously, Stephen A. Smith. In all objectivity, just looking at the cold, hard facts, I am taking Tim Tebow. Because numbers never lie. And the number that I'm hanging my hat on is his QBR in the last nine minutes is off the charts and easily the NFL's best. How can you argue with that? How can I argue with and that? Wait, wait, wait. Right now, with Tom Brady struggling as we saw him struggle in Washington, I believe that Tebow's team believes it more than Brady's team wow. believes in him. You think? Hold it. And I love Tom Brady. Hold it. Are you going to sit on here on national television and say that you think that players for the Denver Broncos, NFL players yes. who know this game, who lived for this game their whole lives, that they have more faith in Tim Tebow than Tom Brady? Right. Oh, I... I... You know, baby. <laughs> I cannot believe you, Tom Brady, Mr. 4,000-plus yards passing, this guy with the 100-plus pass rating, this guy that's a three-time Super Bowl champion, this guy that has been Mr. Clutch throughout his career. You're going to eat. The fact that you would even have the unmitigated goal, the audacity to even bring Tim Tebow in the same sentence as Tom Brady is blasphemous. It ain't unconstitutional. It's not egregious. It's not derogatory or disrespectful. It's not flagrant. It is blasphemous. I'm saying, and I'm saying blasphemous and Tebow in the same and sentence. The fact that. that you can put Tebow in the same sentence as Tom Brady on any and day, you, in any category you. in regards to football is beyond okay. comprehension. Thank you, Mr. Did you, you want to sit there and say all of that, but bottom line is that year all he did was win games. All he did was win games. Unleash! That's what Aaron Rodgers did. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I, I, I'll even take Tim Tebow one game for my life over Aaron Rodgers. I would, honestly. I, I don't even care about the great Brett Favre. I'll take Tebow over Aaron Rodgers. I've seen more from Tebow so far. You it, Listen, let's go to commercial break, Jay. Yeah, I got him on that one. I just we, we, we can't, we can't. Can. You did get me on that one. Because it's okay. Then I, what am I it's supposed okay. to say when you make absolutely it, no it's sense? Okay. It's okay. Yeah, I was, I was wondering about that one myself. So, you know, we're we going to go to break. Just leave please, that alone. please. We need to recover. We need time to recover yeah. from, from, that, from, from that atrocious statement you just made. Well, you said all he does is win games, and that's all he does. And again, maybe I'm a Twitter prisoner. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you are too. Yes, sir. Just gut feeling Tebow has become the most polarizing athlete in the history of American sports. Now, I can't speak worldwide, but I'm, I'm just, from what I know here. What? And I'm talking loved and hated to extremes, two of the, the, the most extreme extremes I have ever experienced. And I see it in your eyes on a daily basis. He moves you the way I've never seen anybody move you. Now, you're being moved the wrong way and I'm being moved to the right way but we are dealing here as we often discuss on this show with religion with race 
with wildly debatable performances. <clears throat> Three and a half quarters of ineptitude, as you might say. Yes. And all he does is win in the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. And it moves people. It polarizes because we're even arguing about can he play? We're to the point where I'm saying in a vacuum, if I gave you these statistics and this one loss record for a rookie starter in his first 16 NFL games, you'd say, this guy's good, man. And you say he can't play. That he can't, he throw. can't pass. Can't throw. Okay, if I give you some passing statistics from fourth quarters and overtimes, you'd look at him and say, in a vacuum, this guy's good. But on the other side of that, I know. you have okay, his okay. first three quarters. Polarizing. Yeah. And I keep saying, what he says is never very interesting to me. No. What, what he does and the things that he causes around him, just the things that happen around him, yeah. almost independent of him, off the charts. We can't talk, start, uh, stop talking about them because they're so intriguing. They're so provocative. Okay. They're always so debatable. May I interject? Polarizing. I got you. I got you. Playing around with you, but your points are valid. I respect them. Let me get serious and tell you why I disagree. <clears throat> Muhammad Ali, to me, no one comes close. It's close. Now, Again, being a couple of years older than you, I lived through that time. Yes, sir. And I have no objectivity about it because he was my favorite athlete. I understand. And I can only speak for my small circle of white friends. Right. Nobody hated Muhammad Ali. That the I government the government was against Muhammad Ali. The government, the United States well, of America well, he, was against Muhammad Ali. The United a, States of America. But he was America. a conscientious objector, okay? There yeah, are a lot that, of them. that drove a lot of the hatred. And to they, Stephen A's point, nobody hates Tim Tebow, the man. You can't. I don't know. Okay, wait, wait. A lot okay. of people. A lot of but he was revered and idolized as a boxer. And Tebow is clearly minute, not. Wait. And take a step. Is, is he beloved now? Is he beloved now? So what happened? Muhammad Ali? Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yes, okay, so what happened? I think that that resentment lasted a couple of years. Make an argument for but a while. People, Tebow will go on. But, as but it was later proved.